Hello, my name is Celine Robinson, and I will be talking about detecting petroleum storage tanks using deep learning. There is a combined petroleum storage capacity of 2.26 billion barrels at refineries, bulk terminals, and crude oil tank farms in the United States. This is three times the storage capacity of the strategic petroleum reserves and approximately 30% of the annual U.S. petroleum products consumed. The DOE has recognized that petroleum storage tank farms are vulnerable to failures from natural hazards. During Hurricanes Katrina, Isaac, and Harvey, thousands of barrels of petroleum were released from storage tanks and spread by floodwaters into surrounding communities. Historically, data on tank farms are limited, inadequate, and costly. However, pertinent information can be inferred from overhead imagery. We aim to detect and characterize above-ground petroleum storage tanks from publicly available aerial imagery using deep learning algorithms. This provides the necessary information to evaluate human and environmental health risks posed by petroleum released during natural hazards. To achieve this goal, we have decided to utilize FASTER RCNN. FASTER RCNN is a single unified object detection network comprised of a pre-trained backbone, region proposal network, and FAST RCNN detector. To train a deep learning model, we require a large-scale object detection data set. Due to the lack of existing suitable datasets for this task, we have developed one using aerial imagery acquired by the National Agricultural Imagery Program, or NAEP. We have collected nearly 2,500 tiles from 47 states based on the known location of tank farms using existing point datasets. To ensure that tanks of interest are clearly identifiable, we've only included tiles with a ground sampling distance of 60 centimeters. To make it easier to annotate, we have broken each tile into smaller images. The size and spatial variability across the US improves the robustness of our model and the value of the dataset to future end users. Petroleum is often stored in closed roof, external roof, and spherical pressure tanks to manage vapor emissions, pressure, and material properties. Additionally, civil infrastructure systems utilize water towers, and sedimentation tanks. Due to their overhead visual similarity, we included them in our dataset. We have labeled over 19,000 images and close to 90,000 objects. Most of these objects are in the closed roof class. We expect this is because they are the most commonly used type of tank. We assess our algorithm using model metrics. The intersection over union relates the overlap in total area between the bounding box around a predicted object and the ground truth dataset. A predicted outcome with an intersection over union over a threshold is considered true positive and under that threshold is considered a false positive. Precision is the number of true positives divided by the sum of true positives and false positives. Recall is the number of true positives divided by the sum of true positives and false negatives. Primarily, we evaluate our model using the mean average precision and mean average recall. Mean average precision is the mean of average precision across all classes, where average precision is the mean precision for recall values from zero to one. Similarly, mean average recall is the mean of, of the average recall across all classes, where average recall is the mean of the recall over all IOU thresholds from 0 0.5 to one. The model metrics can be found here. While the summary metrics indicate a need for further fine tuning of the model, the model average precision and recall suggest the model is performing well on medium and large objects across all classes. In summary, we developed a multi-class object detection algorithm to detect petroleum storage tanks using a newly developed large-scale data set developed from publicly accessible images. Moving forward, we plan to expand on this work. By utilizing feature extraction techniques and regression models, we plan to estimate storage tank volumes. This provides valuable information about the capacity of any given tank. Additionally, we will utilize our dataset as well as fragility and natural hazards models to estimate tank failures under various natural hazard conditions. Thank you so much for taking the time to listen.